Darren, talk a little bit about social give back. What what you're most proud of, and and you know the the, the CSR, the the responsibility that you instill, and and that you absolutely march toward. Telus was you know recognized as the uh, most uh, philanthropic organization on the planet, and that's you know, a global recognition. And that's a global recognition, you know. And I have to tell you, you know, yes, we did it with our hearts, mm -hmm. but fifty percent of the contribution came from the innovation of our minds. We said, how can we better mobilize uh, our people and uh, embrace the spirit of, of volunteerism? One of the very um, innovative things that we've done is uh, we've gone into communities and we've actually asked communities, what is the biggest social challenge facing you right now? What do you need help on? Right. You know, and, and they make the call as to right. what's important. And that can be a new hospital wing. It could be a new hockey uh, uh, arena. It could be something in terms of an educational pursuit. It could be the arts yeah. and, and so forth. They make the call and we say, okay, you know, to the extent to which you know, we do more in terms of uh, selling TV within your community or selling wireless devices within your community, we will make a contribution for every single TV or wireless device that we sell to the cause that you've articulated. That's meaningful. And, you know, and that creates a symbiotic relationship, which should be the case, between our, you know, ourselves you know, and, and that community. Well, if people feel uh, that we are making a, a greater you know, contribution uh, to society, they feel a greater level of engagement uh, w within the organization. And they see what we are doing with our technology to reduce our, our carbon footprint, whether it's technology within buildings or whether it's telecommuting and having people work from home mm -hmm. or, or, or on a mobile basis. Mm -hmm. that, that really creates a greater bond between an individual uh, and their organization. It's, mm -hmm. it's that traditional sense of pride that they feel that here's an organization that is actively trying to build a better tomorrow, not just for their stockholders, but for society mm -hmm. uh, in general. Mm -hmm. Our approach on the community boards front, mm -hmm. we now have 11 community boards coast to coast. Wow. Um, and you know, luminaries um, uh, you know, of, of Canadian society at a leadership level within those boards. Participating. And, yeah, and it's an, uh, an eclectic and Pareto optimal mix uh, of both external people that are leaders in health, they're leaders in education, they're leaders in arts and, and culture, with our own TELUS uh, employees. Um, so it's, it's a blend uh, of the two of them coming together. And we said, you know what, the decisions locally uh, should be made by those local community boards. They, mm -hmm. they understand uh, the needs of their society. They understand you know, how best to express our strategy, put it into action. And by the way, by having local people that are making those decisions, you have local ownership. Sure. And when you have local ownership, I think you get a better social outcomes uh, uh, along the way. Mm. And so here we are, you know, now 2013, um, and we're over $31 million of community investments, wow. um, and we have supported 2,700 grassroots charities. And again, it was a business principle that kicked it off. We said, we're not going to, you know, go where the crowd is, mm -hmm. which was all the blue chip charities, mm -hmm. right? Well, you know, we can do that at the corporate level with TELUS. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the grassroots charities that typically don't receive corporate support. Where a little means a lot. Where a little means a lot. And, mm -hmm. and they typically don't even know how to get corporate mm -hmm. support, sure. right? So let's unlock that potential, kind of the, the Margaret Mead perspective uh, of so life. It's a micro-investment. It's a micro-investment. And, yeah. and let's step in and see you know, if we can help these people and, you know, and, and really um, take their unbridled passion to help, you know, to do good, to solve problems within their own societies. And, Let's, let's see if we can support that. And the people that they work with are the people that are right there uh, in, in, in those communities along the way. When employees um, are driving innovation in terms of helping uh, their fellow citizens in need, uh, using the, their hands and, and their feet and, and their hearts as, as, as well as, as their minds, uh, the emotional uh, nourishment that they get from that, in my view, is, is second to none. And the engagement they feel with an organization that supports you know, that, that volunteerism, that, that spirit of, of volunteerism, mm -hmm. uh, I think is, is distinctly elevated. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see people that are doing well saying, you know, I'm going to spend a big chunk of my time helping out those people less fortunate uh, than myself. Technology is great and it can present a terrific change dynamic mm -hmm. in terms of what, you know, you can achieve in life, so on and so forth. But never forget that, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's, it's what you give back and, and how much emotive investment uh, you make into society that's of um, equal, if not greater, uh, mm -hmm. importance.